I'm Anne Marie Barton. Join me as I help homeowners reimagine their spaces. Discovering an atmosphere of beauty, peace, and tranquility from simple changes to sweeping transformations. I'll be sharing my process, tips, and of course, my vision. With the help of 3D renderings, we'll reveal exactly what's possible, creating an environment of beauty where form and function matter. This is The Vision Maker. Hi, I'm Sabrina. Welcome to my home. Okay, well, uh, I am a choreographer and dance teacher in Los Angeles, and I bought this home in 2019. I completely renovated it. It was from 1949, so it was just, it was livable, but not my style at all. And I painted the house myself and started finding out that I was like, kind of passionate about DIY and interior design and I even have a little Instagram page uh, because I'm Canadian, it's called the Scandinavian. So right now the home is a two bedroom, one bath with this lanai in the back. The lanai was a patio I'm guessing at some point that was surrounded with, with walls. The walls are super, super thin and the windows are really not insulated. So we have a problem with heat in the summer. First of all, in that space, super, super hot in here in LA in the summer. So this space is kind of unusable in the summer. And then secondly, it's sort of a weird flex space. I've made a dining room in one area and then the other part is where I do some work. Uh, I put a mirror up so I can do some choreography and the dogs will play in there. But I think it's a little bit wasted where I have the view to the backyard. I would love to have that be a bedroom where the bathroom and the bedroom and everything would be going off into that backyard. So that's my hope for that space. Today, we're in the Valley of LA, and we're seeing lots of trees, this sort of older neighborhood, ranch-style homes, which just say California. And now this is the home we're gonna to visit today. And in a short time, I'm going to walk through that home and see what I would recommend, especially for her bedroom. So let's go check it out. Marie. And you're Sabrina. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm nice Sabrina. Yes, you. come on in. Well, Welcome to my you. home. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much for coming. Of course. I love that you wanted this challenge. I wanted the challenge. I'm so happy you're here. So you're good with this. Yes, tell me everything. <laughs> so, I always do. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a good, lovely feeling in here already. Thank you so much. And this must be you. This is me. It's blessed this house. It is. I did everything in here. Yes, I completely renovated it when I bought it. Uh, it was wow. from 1949 and not much had been done to it. Yes. So I knocked out this giant wall here. Gosh. So when you come in, you have this open feeling. Very and, nice. Uh, yeah, I just kind of tried to give this flow. Now we're stepping into your dining area. Yes, and this is the area I'm having like the most, I would say, trouble with. Um, when I bought this home, this had just become a lanai area, I guess. Mm -hmm. so this was a patio, they covered it. And, uh, you know, we're stuck with this sort of flex space we didn't know what to do with. Mm -hmm. So I designated this dining room, felt natural coming from the kitchen. It does, it really does. Yes, and then I just felt like this didn't really have any purpose, so I made it sort of a workspace because I teach dance and I do choreography. Really? Yes, did you dance? Well, probably not as good as you. You did? Should we bust a move? Do you know how to do like a little, Ooh. a little no, ball change not really. moment? Oh, I don't know. Oh, she's got legs. That's it. That's I love it. it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> You've got the mirror. That's for you. That's not for me. Yeah, that's for me. So, yeah. Well, what so... will you do when this, if you use this space differently okay, my with your dance? Okay, is kind of maybe crazy, but I'm thinking this should be a primary bedroom. That is perfect. Yes. I mean, and look what we could look at. I don't know if everybody knows, but your gardening is gorgeous. Thank you. And the fact that you have Chet underneath, so it's really scrambly. I love the sound of that. Yes. This is gorgeous. Thank you. So I think your idea is right. Headboard here. Yes. Looking out to that. Another great tree. Yes. So cool. And in the summer, it's so beautiful, so green. And this seems I just right. feel like there should be doors that open up and you know, you have this great so view. So this is made of sort of like temporary walls. Correct. And it's so hot in the summer. The walls are just searing. Are you willing to redo these I walls? I have to. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Yes. So when you do that, you won't have this temporary ceiling No, either. I think this has to all go up because it's a couple, Got it. you know, a few inches. Okay, so lower. this glass block would probably go away. Yes. And we'd position the bed here. You have, then we'll, we'll have the doors. Now, do you watch TV in bed? 
No. Right. Thank goodness, best answer. Yeah, no Perfect. TV in the bedroom. Perfect. <laughs> then we'll have room for a dresser, yes. a lamp, yes. uh, probably a chase lounge. Cool. So that when you enter the room from about where this plug is, yep. that seems about right. Just you have doors. room for a little bit of a sexy little I lounge. So. I love that. Now, where are we going to dance after that? Well, I don't need it. I don't okay. need to work at home. Okay. I just have been because I have the opportunity and now the dogs kind of play in here, but you know, we're less concerned about that. We have this massive yard. Okay. So for me, it's more about creating a sanctuary. That's really a good primary bedroom because that's really missing from this home. I love the idea of bringing the bed to this wall and having this whole bedroom to yourselves. Yes. But where's the bathroom? I'll show you okay. where I think it's gonna be. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, so right now. Nice. This oh. is our. Oh, yeah. Guest bedroom, This second bedroom. This is working. Thank you. It was really just a kind of pink and it has, you know, little ruffly things. And you and just Scandinavian it out. Scandinavian it out, exactly. And, um, I like it. So I think this could be the second bathroom. This could be Easily. the primary bathroom. So this is an ensuite that goes into your bedroom and maybe even walk-in closet if there's space. I think you need space. I, think I can so tell. Too. Now you mentioned we have an extra three feet or so. Correct. So our entrance into the bathroom off of the bedroom could allow room still for the bed and the bedside. Yes. You've got it made. Thinking about how this will lay out in the end, yes. I think it's best to leave the closet in the bathroom itself. Okay. Kind of going after that open floor plan that you already have with the kitchen and the family room. Okay. So we definitely put the vanity on this wall to get some natural light. Yep. Let's do a freestanding tub. Okay. Shower over there. Shower and then there. unfortunately, I think you're gonna lose this door. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I mean, I have this little closet in the hallway. It's kind of a strange little thing. So Wait. I have some extra space. We're gonna use that. Yeah? Yeah. Let's okay. make this closet bigger. I think you'll like it. Oh, I can't wait to see what you do with Let's it. Let's go draw that bedroom. Yes! Okay. Working with Anne Marie was a dream. She's phenomenal. Uh, she gave me great ideas right off the bat. She's so insightful and really sensitive to what I wanted, and I thought she gave me amazing ideas. With Sabrina, I think she's really gonna get after this. I mean, she's ready for this beautiful sanctuary bedroom full of glass and doors so she can see her beautiful outdoors. She has this Scandinavian look and it's already established in her house. And we're just gonna add to that and add a little bit of softness and texture. I'm excited. I'm just finishing up Sabrina's design. I loved working with her. She already had this great sensibility. She's an artist herself, and I think she had just redone most of the house, leaving this last location, which she came up with to be the primary bedroom. It's perfect. It looks right out to her beautiful garden, and it's huge. When I was designing for Sabrina, I really felt like I was almost in her space in my office. She loves light, I love light. She likes order and she likes things that are sumptuous and maybe even spa-like, Scandinavian in nature. So I started thinking about how would I redo her new bedroom? And the first thing that came to mind was how do I deliver light into that space while putting walls up between the dining and her new bedroom. So I thought about using these rib doors that have a glass in between that's a little bit bronze, of course, as you can see. And this way there's an element of privacy, but also the light can be exchanged from the dining room and to the bedroom and vice versa. So we really don't have walls at all. And in the bedroom itself, as soon as you open those doors, you see what I would feel like is a sanctuary. And that's what we need. So at your own homes, if you're looking around while you're watching this and you need to eliminate a few things and freshen up, I hope you will. For Sabrina, we're ready. I wanna show you all the parts and pieces. Of course, most things on the table are in the cream value because she loves Scandinavian. And that means subtle, quiet, a little bit Danish, straightforward. We're adding the soft goods to that, the elements that make it comfortable and cozy, but we have a ton of creams. You can see this material that imitates the exterior uh, plant life. You can see all the veins of the leaves. I love echoing that. 
Then you've got the sumptuous fabric here that is really intended for the bed cover. You can see that that feels like a spa itself. Then we have the drapery and the cream, very light, very filigree. So it's not a solid drape, it's just there to add texture. The sheeting itself has a sheen and is also of the cream. Here's the idea. We don't need a lot of color contrast. What we want is something soothing, a palette that says peaceful. The accents I chose, however, were in this type of look here with a little bit of vein of color. And then for that bench in front of the bed, I thought we could hit it with a little velvet. Again, a very rich fabric. These colors work together, but they don't overly contribute to the space. Let's talk about the rug. This one's really original. I wanted to go with something different than the other spaces. And you can see a lot of the ground in this and then these long pieces of wool that are just beautiful and really say relax. Now we do have a Chase Lounge in this room. The Chase Lounge in this room is made in a very sinewy shape and it's meant to read in, relax in, and I wanted to cover it in a fabric like this with a little bit of movement, absolutely gorgeous texture as well. As you slide the doors open, you can partake of the sanctuary and right at the end is the focal point of the bookshelves with the rounded top. That's when we start to introduce the wood on the shelves. And when you think about it, the light fixture in the center of the room is also in the rattan color and the bed. Those are natural colors that really contribute and warm the space. I really don't love to use two lamps on either side of the bed. I'd rather mix it up a little bit and create the unexpected. So hanging a single pendant over one bedside table and the other one a lamp is something I love to do. Love hanging that down really low, almost too far, and then it creates that wonder, that sense of curiosity. The wall covering in a rattan, the headboard in a long horizontal, all very soothing, the bedding light, looking out to this beautiful garden and then laying on your chase lounge to read in this cozy cocoon. That's the way I like to live. And I think Sabrina is ready for that. And I think she's ready for the investment into herself. I really think Sabrina is ready for this. I think this is what she was hoping for. I can't wait for her to see it. She wanted a sanctuary and I really wanted to deliver that for her. She's ready. I can't wait till she sees it.